Hi, welcome back. So as promised, we are going to start writing our very first JavaScript program uh, in this video. All right, uh, if this is your first time using JavaScript and you've never used it before or you've never even written any code before, I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step process on how you can get started. For now, we are going to create a new folder. Uh, so let's right click here and let's come to new and then we are going to click on new folder and i'm going to call this one java javascript intro okay so i'm going to open this folder by double clicking and if you've installed visual studio code uh, you should be able to come to this place and just search for and just type code like this you should see visual studio code you can just come right here right click and show more and then open with vs code so now we are inside of a fresh directory or folder with nothing at all inside and all we have to do now is to create our very first javascript file and in this video what we are going to do is just creating a very simple hello world application in vanilla js as well as in node js and to get started i'm going to come right here and create a new file and i'm going to call it main.js we are going to start with the node js because at this stage it's kind of the simplest way to uh it's, it's a little bit more simpler than just than using normal vanilla javascript so I'm going to come right here and I'm going to type console.log and I'm just going to type in hello world like this. And this uh, this is how you create a simple hello world program in Node. And to see the result of this code, because you know Node.js doesn't run on the browser, it runs on the server. So to run this, I'm going to come right here, this console or terminal. And if you don't have this on your uh, on your machine, I suggest you uh, come right here to this place where it says uh, terminal, and then click on new terminal. And you should see something like this now pop up on your window. So um, first thing first, if you don't have node installed you need to go ahead and install node from the browser and if you if you do all you have to do is type in node and version like this and you should see the version number of the node you are using right and the reason why we need node is that we always need node to run or to run any javascript file uh, directly from the console so to see the results of this console.log hello world and it's it's just to type node like this and then the name of this file file yes uh, me so you should see hello world like this and in most cases you don't have to write .js but you can if you want and it's going to give you the same result all right so this is how you create a simple hello world application in node and now i'm going to show you how to create a hello world application in vanilla javascript <clears throat> so to create hello world application in vanilla js we are not just going to need javascript we are also going to need uh, an html file and so let's go ahead and create one and i'm going to call my index.html like this and uh, i'm going to add in this exclamation mark let's call this introduction to js like this right so i'm going to write in uh, i'm going to have a h1 tag here and i'm going to write hello world like this right so um what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and open this file inside of a browser and see what it looks like okay now we see hello world we now have a uh, hello world text written right here inside of a browser and the next thing we should do is try to change the text of this document using javascript 
and um, uh, we could do it inside of this HTML file, but because we are running a JavaScript tutorial, I will suggest we create we 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 reference this file, we connect these files together, and then we run all our JavaScript code on inside of this JavaScript main file. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in script tag, and I'm going to point it to this main.js and on this I'm going to have a, uh, a button like this and I'm going to call this button change uh, greetings right and on that button I'm going to have an on click listener and I'm going to call a function say hello like this so this function is going to be called inside of this JavaScript file. Also, I'm going to add some ID reference on this text. I'm going to call it three greetings like this. All right. So what I'm going to try to do is to uh, let's refresh this page. Is to click on this button right here, and I want to be able to change this hello world text to hi or hello JavaScript. And this is uh, now we have we have an ID reference, and I'm going to show you why we need this ID reference in in a bit. We have a button which we are going to click to listen to 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 make change of this text using this function, and then we have a reference to this JavaScript file. So now let's open the file, and I'm going to clean. I'm going to delete all this everything from here. I'm going to create my first function, which is this function right here. So let me go ahead and copy the function, and let's let's say function like this, and uh, and this is the function. Now this is a normal way you create a function in JavaScript, and don't worry if this doesn't make much sense. Don't worry, everything will be clear as we go deep inside the video. All right, we'll, 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 do, we'll do function in more details. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a constant variable. And I'm going to call it greet. I'm going to say it's equal to uh, document. And when I say document, I'm referring to this HTML document right here, dot get element by ID. And I'm referring to this HTML document right here saying, hey, document. There's an element with a specific ID, this greetings, and I want you to get it, right? So I'm going to pass in this value inside of this, like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to console.log uh, greet, see what we get from this, this, this result, right? So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to refresh this page now, and I'm going to open the dev tool. If you don't know how to open the dev tool, you can click Ctrl Shift and then I to open the dev tool, or you can just uh, click, right click, and then come to inspect. And what we are interested in is this one, the console right here. We are going to click on this little button. You see, every time we click the button, it gets the entire document, the entire element which we reference by this greetings id so what i'm going what i'm saying here is that there's a uh, we create a variable with the name greet and we want the document to get any element with the i with this id and we want to console.log it we want to see it in the console just like we have it here and the next thing we, we are going to do is to say all right now we get the greet right greet dot inner text and we are going to say hi javascript so what i'm saying here is that hey great this element the one we just console.log the one we can log here we want the inner text this is the inner text to be changed to hi javascript so let's go ahead and save this and please also you would notice i'm not saving my file that is because i have have an auto save enabled on my Visual Studio code, you can go ahead and enable it on yours as well, or you can always save your file if you want it to work. All right, now let's go back to the browser. Let's refresh. 
okay and let's go ahead and close this we don't need it anymore let's click on this button and uh, it doesn't change okay and why is that oh sorry this is not a function grid.inner text uh, when you hover over on this you see it received a value of string so what I'm going to do is to say hi JavaScript and let's go ahead and refresh this and let's click this again you see it says hi JavaScript so this is a way to create a simple hello world application in JavaScript as well as in node.js and